We on vacay mode. Hey y'all, y'all watching Sean and Casey, and we on vacay mode. And today I'm gonna to talk to you guys about what to do while you're in Belize City. Cause we've been getting a lot of questions on what to do and there's so much to do. And I'm gonna tell you why in a minute. But today we're gonna to talk about what to do in the city, what excursions you can take, and also what's good to eat and where to eat at. So let's get it started. So today we're gonna to talk about porting at Belize. Okay, so we got to Belize and of course, you know, you have to actually take a tender there. So, cause the boat's too big to port since it's a small um, port there. So anyway, you're gonna go ahead and take a tender into port. And once you get to port, they're gonna be playing the music and you're gonna be <laughs> feeling it. <laughs> you're gonna be smelling the good food aroma. And so anyways, you're gonna go ahead and get off and there's a lot of shopping on a port. Once you get off, there's tons and tons of shopping from clothes to music to food to whatever um, you're looking for. It's, they're just, so if you just want to come to the port and shop, that's good Good if you want to do that. But we're going to tell you guys about what we did and what we found and what was fun. And as y'all know, for my Belizean people out there, that way to go on, you know, y'all Belizean. So here we go. And I'm going to tell you what we did. So for us, what we did, we actually, we didn't do an excursion. We got off because of course, I'm local. We want to do local things. So we went ahead and we um, got a tour guide just to, you know, get warm and started, I should say, put yeah. it that way. And where we found them at was, where you, is, as, it's a terminal actually, when you get out the, uh, the um, boat actually go all the way to the end of the pier, and there's a big terminal. It, you know, it's, it's like it's, a mall, kind yeah, of. Yeah, it's like a little mall. Mm -hmm. If you when you go in the door, go to the left and go all the way down the little hallway or whatever like that, and you will see a whole bunch of tour guides. You know, it's a row of them, at least about ten of them, all the way down, going and having different excursions. You know, different trip, different tours different beaches, and definitely different, you know, uh, uh, you know, what's that, rum uh, tasty uh, tours. Oh, yes. So if you don't, if you don't get a chance to do it online or what have you, don't worry. When you get there, there's plenty of excursion that you definitely can A lot can cheaper. Take. You know, I'm talking oh, yeah. about a whole five lot times cheaper. cheaper. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, something that was on the ship, you know, we got, you know, uh, uh, off the ship, you know, for 25 bucks. 25 dollars a person. Yep, mm -hmm. that was it. I mean, you know, the same. ship was like probably like maybe 85 to 95 dollars. Same tour. Same exact tour. Don't worry, you will get back to your boat oh, on time. They, they, they make, sure, make sure. They stay on time. Don't worry about it. It's the same. These are the same tours that the ships are uh, 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 providing. But you can also you can get them there because the same guys that take them around going to be taking you around with them too because we had a couple a uh, couple two couples in our um, van that actually paid that eighty five dollars a piece and when they realized we paid twenty five dollars they was kind of hot so you know said check your prices but it's a lot cheaper at the uh, at the terminal so um, something that we did do we did we got a we did a really good tour of the city. Um, you might be thinking, I don't know how the port looks to you from the outside, but once you get in, the city is city, city. You have regular paved streets and everything, and I mean, those cars be going though. <laughs> yeah. They be flying, but um, it, it, was, it was a fun, really good tour, and we got a lot of history um, about Belize from the lighthouse to um, the fruits and vegetables and animals that they're known for. So I know many of you guys may not know, but they're definitely known for coconut. So you will see coconut drinks on a lot of things and everywhere. And even on the port, if you just want to grab something really quick, if you like coconut, um, they'll cut the coconut right there for you. Fresh, fresh off the press, as they would say. Yeah. And um, you know, go ahead and fix it for you. Put a straw straight in the coconut, and you walk around with your little coconut drink, feeling really good. And I ain't talking about alcoholic beverages; just really coconut drinks. But hey, if you want that too, they they definitely gonna put a splash oh, yeah, in there for they, you. They put a little tweak on it if you want some rum up in there. You know, they had a little drink to pour in there too. You know, the prices are you know different, but uh, um, it's cool you know, because like I said, <clears> when, we, when you get off the ship, they actually it's like probably about. 
what, 10 stores down in between yeah. the little area. You'll see everybody, so some people standing in line with fresh uh, uh, coconuts and he chopping them up. I mean, it's real interesting, you know, and fun to look at. Real tasty, those that are like coconut. You uh, can't miss it. We definitely gonna post a picture up here for you to see because we got, you know, pictures of that. And um, it's, it's really good. If you like coconut, you'll definitely enjoy it. But also not just coconut, they have like other fruits and stuff around. Like, you know, if you just want to have something cool and refreshing while you're walking around, because right. it tends to be pretty warm out there. You know, normal's, normal is always about 80 degrees. So, you know, you can just imagine that sometimes with a little humidity too. So, you know, that's just how that is. Yeah, so when the, to the, getting back to the tour, the, the, he took us around to a lot of those interesting places. He showed us, you know, different homes, different places where they were built, why they were built that way, and stuff like that. He, you know, he showed us some areas that were that were uh, badly built. You know, what I mean, but he only told us a lot of history, how you know how things go out there. So it was really, it was really good, you know, to understand how the locals do things. He also too pointed out how the children there they had to wear uniforms, the girls, boys. You know, from different ages, and he showed us the schools. You know, they had in there. Uh, also, too, um, try. I, you know, I want you guys to try this. You know, who those that drink Coke, get a Coca Cola bottle there, because definitely because uh, they make it out of what, Sean? <laughs> Not sugar, but sugar cane straight from the cane. That's the real. Coca-Cola factory is in Belize City and um, if you look at their bottle compared to like a can of Coke where you see all this high from stuff that I can't say or spell on there, it'll say sugar cane on the bottle. So it has a little different slight taste to it so you definitely have to try it while you're out there. Uh, on that tour, we went to uh, a rum factory. I mean, and it was called Travelers Rum. I think it was yeah, called Rum right. Factory, and uh, they have a nice tour in there too. You know, I mean, it was really nice. They had the history about the rum. If you wanted to do uh, uh, um, rum tasting, uh, yeah, that rum tour was really nice. Um, Along, like you said, they have the history in there, so it'll show you how they used to make it from scratch and what have you. And you can like look through the window and see the whole factory and um, the president and the, the person that came up and created the rum factory. Like all that stuff is in there. And of course, I mean, most of all, best of all, you can try all the rooms. <laughs> right. So, I mean, they literally yeah. had wall to wall liquor. When you walk in there on this side, liquor and this side liquor all different types and uh um you know with different prices you know real reasonable that was a, uh was a shocker to me they were around 10 between 20 10 and 20 bucks uh liquor you know what i'm saying full bottles you know so i was you know so i was definitely shocked they also too have local seasonings <laughs> that was shocking oh, yeah. too for souvenirs so i bought some uh seasoning because i like to cook so uh they did have some what's some anchiote paste it was in a liquid form oh, yeah. at the bottom so i got that they also too had seasoning in there so i mean it, it was a one type one stop shop for little uh, uh essentials if you wanted to buy the you know the local flavors and stuff like that it was cool and uh, uh, uh they had a drink <laughs> it was my favorite day. It was a favorite day. It was called Panty Ripper. I now, wonder why. <laughs> you know, it was really good. It was kind of orange with a pineapple liqueur in there, mm -hmm. and it was really, really good. You know, so, so they let you try that out. You know, and, you know, you could also too have a full drink in there if you want to too, because they have a bar right behind where you had a tasting at. Definitely. You know, for those that want to have uh, uh, cases. They also too, you know, what I'm saying, uh, uh, have cases of liquor for you waiting. So if you want to get a case of uh, uh, their rum or you know whatever they're famous for, or whatever different type of liquor you have, they make it right there, you know, what I'm saying, and then they case it up for you to take with you. So you know, what I'm saying, so uh, uh, it is, and the prices are real reasonable. Oh, definitely. So uh, we had a ball at the <laughs> at the rum factory, and um. um 
The leaves have a lot of, I don't know if who, those of you that like nuts or into nuts, they have cashew. And um, usually the locals be selling it. And if you do go to the rum factory, that's definitely one place where you can find the cashew man, as I would say. And he'll be selling you high fresh cashews right there so you can go ahead and, you know, get it from him. And it's... um it's really really good so you know who don't yeah. want something high please know for that cashews now they're really good now uh, um you know they make them there they're all over the place they have cashews all over the place so when you're there get your bag of cashews because you know police is known for that that's that's where they uh uh, uh not manufacture but you know that's where they make a large quantities of because they have a cashew factory out there as well oh yeah so um those are some of the things we just want to tell you, you know, while, you, while you're out there, while we're, we're talking about it. And also, um, there the local beer, Bellican beer. So if you just want to relax and cool off, don't forget to get you a Bellican beer. Because that's what they're known for. <laughs> you will see Bellican beer everywhere, all over the place. You'll see Bellican beer. Y'all, too, will see Lighthouse. They also do sell Lighthouse uh, as well, because at the port you'll see them selling it. But uh, like you said, Belican beer, you'll see the billboards everywhere, all over uh, uh, Belize. You know, so you know, definitely get you a Belican beer. So yeah, so um, well, we got out there, and the, I mean, the tour was fantastic, and um, we also wanted to get some alcohol. And oh, don't forget while you're out there. Whatever cash you have on you, that is two for one out there. So you know, our one dollar is two dollars for them. So just make sure you keep, you know, keep a track of all that. Oh yeah, and I went. We went to right out the port. I, you know, after we got back from the tour, we were right out the port, uh, uh, right on the outskirts of the city, and it was store right across the street. You know, and I got bottles. You know, saying so I'm definitely gonna put the picture right here. I got bottles, and I mean bottles. I think I came home with about Ooh. 20 bottles. Oh yeah. You know, and, you know, I definitely had a bag for that. We was toting it back home, but they were, uh, you know, my is half of our money. You know, so half of U.S. money. So, um, you know, alcohol that was around 20 bucks, I was getting for 10 dollars. Stuff that was around 10 dollars, I'm getting for five bucks. So, you know, I got a lot of the local beer. I mean, sorry, a lot of the local uh, uh, alcohol that they had there. A lot of the different rums, you know, uh, that they had. So, you know, you could definitely go out and go get that. No problem, no issue at all. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, um, but, um, I was going to say, and make sure you do keep your, um, your sale card and your ID with you because yeah. once you go, um, off the port and outside, you have to come back through customs. So definitely make sure you have those items with you because you do have to come back through custom once you um, venture off a little bit, put it that way. Oh, uh, it, uh, <laughs> customs is hilarious because you would think that, you know say our U.S. customs, you know, we got to go through a whole bunch of changes. No, this thing is a little hut. You know, little door, you know what I'm saying? You ever hear those, you know what I'm saying, the gunshot houses? You know what I'm saying? You can see one, well, you can straight <laughs> from the front door to the back door. That's how it is when you're walking in. So, I mean, uh, uh, they do, you know, ask you questions and stuff like that, but they're real friendly. You know, friendly people and stuff like that. So, you know, we, we had no problem and, uh, um, you know, coming back into the port. Definitely. Um, and so, of course, one of my favorite things out there, hey, this, this is my place. So, I have to look for the food. And most Belizeans, to be honest, they don't eat out a lot. They normally just cook at home. You know, that's what the locals do. They'll cook and eat at home. But if you're out and about <laughs> and you want to go to a restaurant, uh, the place we will recommend for you to go is to go to Dits Restaurants. Now, at Dits, Dits cook like a local Belizean will cook. You'll get your rice and beans, your chicken, your potato salad, your regular homemade food, you know, your meat pies, your, your coconut yeah, your tarts, <laughs> your, your bread, your, I can go on and on and on and on and on, but um, you can definitely check out this restaurants while you're there because um, they have everything food-wise that you're looking for. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. I mean, yeah, definitely, uh, we had, you know, it's a day. That's all local. You want to try local food? That's what it is. That's what you gonna find some uh, down home Belizean food. Yes, straight cooking. Oh, you're like y'all. Y'all, you making me hungry. I don't know. Oh man. 
But um, yeah, so um, the next thing I want to talk to you guys about, about some excursions. Um, there's so many excursions to be done in Belize, um, especially if you're into water sports. Um, one that's really famous is the cave um, tubing. So at this cave tubing, they're known for it because it's not like a little stretch, like you sit in tube and you go down a little bit. No, this, this stretch, it runs um, seven miles underground. So you're in a wow. cave, seven miles is running, you're floating, and it's you know, so it's a, it's a lot of people. You know, you you're going yeah. so you're not gonna feel like you're alone yeah, like you're by not, yourself uh, in a cave. Everybody it's actually like holds that. on to each other, so mm -hmm. you know, to uh, to you know, everybody keeps up with each other as a guy, front and back of the tube, so don't worry about it. You know, you will take care. So like like you know, uh, uh, in other videos, you just know, make sure you have some waterproof things. You know, uh, you know the little uh, water shoes. You know to get the water, but uh, make sure you know if you have a phone, have a you know a waterproof uh, protector for that as well, or put it in some, or don't take it with you. You know, leave it on the boat. Definitely, and um, so um, because Belize is known for their buying reef because um, they're one of the most beautiful <laughs> reefs in the entire world. Um, a lot of people like to go and um, I guess swim with the rays. Are you say, I'm saying it right? Yeah. The rays. Um, yeah, they like to go and do that excursion. And oh, oh, just so you know, all these excursions I am mentioning, you can get all of these off of the boat. So I'm just, you know, wanted to put that out there. You can you can pre-do these things or you can wait till you get there. But um, all these I mentioned off the boat. Another place that, you know, uh, another excursion that you might be interested in, there's a lot of history in it, is the Mayan Ruins. Oh, yes. The Mayan Ruins as a wonder, was a wonderful tour. You could actually climb up the Mayan Ruins and look at the beautiful rainforest that they had around there. And it's wonderful pictures you can take. I mean, it's, it's so beautiful out there, you know, at the Mayan Ruins. And, um... You know, the tour guide tells you the history of how long they've been out there, you know, you know, when they were built, you know, and, and they take real care, uh, well, uh, they're taken well care of. Oh, yes, very. Um, and it's, it's so wonderful. You feel kind of like Rocky when you make it all the way to the top and you actually get to get up there and take a picture of all that. But the modern room's been there for years and years. There's so much back history on it. So definitely, if you get a chance, that's one of the places that I would definitely say go and visit. And um, Belize is also known for their zoo. It's like a safari. There's definitely an uh, excursion on this. You can definitely go and check out their zoo. And when I say a zoo, you may be thinking a zoo zoo. No, it's actually safari type, like open. Where the, the people that work there, they they work with these animals and they know them. And they, I mean, you'll, you'll see some pictures of people having the monkeys wrapped around them as yeah, they're this walking. It's not no caged so up far. zoo. <laughs> no. Not no caged up zoo. So that's why it's a little safari and stuff like yeah, that. So but if you're an animal lover, you, you will really enjoy it. Definitely. Uh-oh, sorry y'all, my phone. Um, oh, so made me lose my thought with that phone for a second. <laughs> um, something else that, that, an excursion that I really think you enjoy now. Me, I love seafood. And um, they definitely have a deep fishing, um, a deep fishing, um, what I'm trying to say, where you can tour. go, tour, yeah. Uh, those are like fishing. You know what I'm saying? You can go to deep sea fishing and whatever you catch, you know what I'm saying, you bring back and cook to eat. Isn't that cool? <laughs> you get to eat whatever it is that you actually catch. So, I mean, I was just like, this is so up my alley. So, I mean, we're, we're going to definitely um, show you some pictures on that. But once you catch it, you get to cook it, eat it. I mean, that's like, I think that's a really awesome tour. So those that love seafood, love the water, love fishing, I feel like that's a tour for you. And um, I don't know, I guess sometimes I'm a little adventurous and there's the airboat. So um, you got the airboat, well, this word not coming out right, but you got the airboat boat tour, <laughs> or I'll just say adventure. And um, 
It's like a, a boat with a big old fan on the back of it. Oh, yeah. And you get to just go sit on there and fly in and zip it yeah, away. For those that have been in uh, Louisiana Bayou, it's a similar boat like that. You know, so you get, you know, a tour and fast, fun, and, you know, uh, 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 you get a lot of gym. Uh, uh, was it a uh, uh, drilling rush? rush. <laughs> you know, so, you know, uh, getting on that. And it's real fun, you know. You get to see, you know, the, the uh, uh, water and the tour, you know, the water as well. Oh, yeah, so if you want a little adventure in your life, go ahead and um, book that <laughs> airport yeah. tour. And, you know, that'll be really nice for you. But then um, we know some of you all just want to go and relax and, you know, and just enjoy the scene and, and you know and um just relax and hang so for for you guys that do want to do that um there's a starfish private island that the cruise ship do offer where it includes um the island the retreat and it also have your lunch is also included in that so um for a fee of course um, you can book that through your cruise ship, and you can um, do a private island, which is which is really nice. Sometimes, you know, although you're on a cruise ship, um, you know, you are people. A lot of times, you just want to, you know, do your own thing. You get to go to Belize, and then, of course, um, you have to take um, a little. I'm not sure exactly sure how long it was. But a little ride, another little boat ride to get to this little private island. And once you get there, you know, they treat you like royalty. You just get to relax and enjoy yourself. And it's just a little bit much more calmer. And I mean, you know, Belizean people is always friendly. So you're going to really, really just enjoy it. And you can really, you know, really appreciate the scene and the water. It's just so beautiful every time I think about it. Yeah. So um, that's something that you definitely can do. If y'all want to uh, try a different excursion, for those that want to go off the beaten path and go out there and do your own thing, they also do have kayak uh, and also do bike riding around the neighborhood and stuff like that. So, you know, it's, it's a nice excursion to do a little bike riding and a little uh, trails and stuff like that. You know, as far as kayaking, you know, if you want to do your own, you know, kayaking around in a nice blue water. Cause Release water is so oh. so beautiful. Mm -hmm. You know they even got something called the Blue Hole. What's it called? Yeah, Blue the Blue Hole. Oh, uh, I mean it's a tour. So, you know, uh, certain parts of the island they have a helicopter tour for that as well. So yeah, well, you can it, see it from the top. Yeah, you this can really, see how dark it's like a big dark <laughs> blue yeah. hole, but the water is so gorgeous. You just wanna. And heal it if you could. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's really, really nice. If you want to get out there and go snorkeling as well, you got out there that beautiful water, seeing the fishes in the water, stuff mm -hmm. like that. And like I said in my other videos, um, you can bring your own snorkel gear. If you don't want to pay for it or rent it out, you can bring your own little snorkel gear and do your snorkeling in, uh, in the water too. You know, and uh, uh, you know, if y'all just want to do your own little tour and, and get on the beach and stuff like that. And then. Um if you just want to go to Belize, you can hop in a taxi. They have all these taxis and rides. Um, and you just want to be taken to a beach and relax. Mm -hmm. a, a, a lot of people have done that. Um, we went we went once ourselves and we just went there. They took us, they'll drop you off and they'll tell you uh, what time they'll be back to come get you or you can, however you guys work it out. Um, cause there's a booth there when you get there and everything, they'll tell you like every time the, the tour, um, ride is coming back around. So whenever you're ready to leave, you can, but it was just, just a regular beach and you can just take your beach towel and, you know, pack all your stuff and you can just go there and maybe you just want to relax. You don't want to do no excursions. You don't want to see nothing but you, the beach and the water. Yeah. So you can always do that. Yeah. And if y'all, uh, 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 my uh, uh, my adrenaline rush guys out there and gals, you can get them ATVs as well on that <laughs> beach and get out there, you know, and have some fun. You can definitely rent those as well. You know, if you you uh, you could also do do the sea dudes and get out there on the water as well as the uh, what was it that parasail and uh, uh, parasail and boat thing? I forgot what it's called. Where you know you get strung up in the yeah. air, you know, the boat pulling you. They also do have that. On the water, so if y'all, you know, adventurous and not scared of heights, 
y'all can get out there and do that too. It's definitely uh, uh, fun, but for me, nah, I, I'm not. I'm not getting up there. <laughs> I'm not with the heights, but uh, if y'all definitely want to get out there and do that, go ahead, you know, yeah. and uh, I do it. But there's plenty of things to do out there, you know, um, especially around the port. Those who want to just stay around the port, stay close by. They do have a little uh, bar out there that you can hang out and listen to yeah. good music. They also to sell Belizean music out there and CDs and and stuff like that. They might even have cassette tapes. You know. but, uh, <laughs> hey, they have CDs. <laughs> you know, no, I'm saying some people like, you for know. those that like to do cassette for tapes. The, for the good music, for the type of music they have and the good music, I'll get a cassette tape. I'm, I'm not even right. worried about it, so I'll put it that way. But um, and, and then too, also, I probably didn't mention it earlier. They 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 do have restaurants and stuff at the port. So if there's if there's, I think they have. Fried fish, snapper, rice and beans. So some of the similar local food, they do sell it there at the port as well. So you can like walk around, shop, eat, you know, for those that want to just, you know, stay at the port or whatever have you, you can do that also. Right. And, and to review, you know, with the local food, you know, say you must try the plantain, the fried plantain, the stewed chicken, rice and beans, and potato salad. That is a wonderful meal to have, <laughs> believe me. And then on the side, you yep, know what yep. I'm saying, have your meat patty. You know oh, what I'm saying, yeah. meat patties are similar to jerk patties, but not as spice, mm. spicy, but they're just as good. And I mean, while you're at it, you might as well have a panadas and a tamales, <laughs> hey now. And for yep. those that like the grind not chest, that's all up to you, but the, whatever you want to do. But I going to get my panadas and tamales, and you want to stew chicken, not up to you. So, there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, you know, hey, I, I know it's real good. Hey, look, hey, you can tell. <laughs> you know, but yeah, um, you know, and then, you know, uh, but make sure, like I said, you keep up with your time because Belize, uh, uh, you know, the, 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 the last time. boat leaves at five. So make sure you're back way before that to get back to your ship mm -hmm. because they shut down. They don't have no extra boats. They don't have nothing to come get you. So <laughs> the last boat to get back on the ship is at five o'clock. And they every ship, every tender that takes you into the island lets you know, you know, what I'm saying that you know, uh, yeah, what time you need to be back. They're gonna tell you at five o'clock. You know, what I'm saying they shut down. So don't stay on. You know, what I'm saying uh, your time or CP time. You know, what I'm saying or you know, so make sure you get back in time. So go to Belize. Check out some of these places that we mentioned and go have some fun. Right. So. And, um. Oh, you know, and check out the other videos. We definitely got something on, you know, uh, what, Cozumel, you know, and uh, a few other things that for those that are first time cruisers that don't know what to do or get into or pack. You know, check out the other videos and subscribe below. You know, definitely clean, uh, click the bell so when we definitely post up uh, more videos, you know, say you'll get the alert. Definitely. Well, all right. This is Sean and Casey. See y'all later.